The last 25 years have identified that chemical species identification is key to understand the basic fundamental mechanism for both environmental sciences but as well energy solutions. The mass spectrometry platform is going to feature on the one hand advanced possibilities to identify the structure of matter going from very large biomolecule assessment using advanced Fourier transform mass spectrometers or multi-collectors with high sensitivity. On the other hand, using nanoSIMs uh, possibilities and TOFSIMs possibility, we will be able to uh, envision where the localization of this chemistry is taking place. Hence, all together, that will bring us some new information and new possibilities to understand where all these important mechanisms are taking place and will, break us, will, will bring us new insights, both in environmental or energy solutions assessments. Uh, the goal of our work and one of the hot topics of analytical chemistry nowadays is the identification and structural characterization of biomolecules containing trace elements. This uh, difficult task requires high performance analytical tools uh, such as high resolution mass spectrometry. Our newly uh, installed platform allows, provides us the possibility uh, to measure the molecular mass of such biomolecules with the relative accuracy going down to one part per million and with the resolution of more than a million. In short, it uh, allows us to uh, see things that haven't been seen before. During the very short time after the installation of our platform, we have been already able uh, to identify a number of new selenospecies species in microorganisms and to follow the metabolism of plants exposed to the heavy metal stress. What's more, our collaboration with the manufacturer gives us an opportunity to develop uh, new procedures and softwares for advanced speciation work, which is the goal of the Mars project. The isotopic platform in the mass projects is going to help us to unravel new mechanisms in environmental science and energy science. Indeed, we are going to be able to promote not only isotopic signature at ultra low levels, but also at the species levels. We could already identify that within the same sample, different species do not have the same isotopic signature, which really shows that there were, there's a wealth of new information to be gained to understand and unravel mechanisms of trace metal between different compartments of the environment. Further, high sensitivity promoted also with fast electronics will allow us to assess uh, laser ablation techniques and with pre-concentrations addressing water compartments. This is totally new and both of these techniques together will help us to unravel not only environmental sciences but also trace metals for energy. All of this is of key importance uh, for our society today. Expert knowledge on chemical elements has always been important to the technical and scientific progress in our modern uh, societies. In this uh, context, the key question is, what is the nanometric distribution of chemical elements at the surface of a sample? Nanosecondary ion mass spectrometry, also called nanosims, allows chemical imaging at a sample surface down to a resolution of 50 nanometers combined with high sensitivity. Therefore, nanosims can also be regarded as a scanning ion microprobe or as a chemical microscope. Our nanosims is equipped with a new primary oxygen ion source developed and validated together with the nanosims constructure Kamika and offers new research, research possibilities because it offers high sensitivity together with high lateral resolution. The mass platform is equipped with a new state-of-the-art TOF-SIMS time-of-flight secondary ion mass spectrometry machine. So TOF-SIMS allow us to obtain elemental and molecular characterization of the extreme surface, the two first nanometer of various materials, with a very high sensitivity close to femtomol. So besides the spectroscopic analysis with a mass resolution up to 10,000 units, 2D imaging with a high spatial resolution below 100 nanometer can be acquired. A specificity of our TAFSIMS machine is an in-situ focus ion beam, a FIB, which allows performing 3D tomography over several micrometers. 
One of our main research fields is the study of lithium or sodium ion batteries for electric vehicles, smart grids or electronic devices for example. And for example, for the first time, the 3D spatial resolution of specific species formed inside a battery during cycling could be observed and this innovation contributes to improve the knowledge of mechanisms occurring during uh, lithium-ion batteries.